In previous videos, we've addressed the condition called central centrifugal cicatricial alopecia, or CCCA, which is a fairly common condition that induces scarring hair loss on the scalps of African American women and probably many men that are being overlooked due to the overlap between CCCA and androgenetic alopecia. That being said, it's a devastating condition. It is often ignored for very long periods of time because of hair grooming practices and ignorance about the condition. So many patients showing up to the clinic to be treated actually show up at late stages of the disease with much of the hair lost and often no ability to regrow the hair that was lost which is a double whammy for that patient. So it is a dire condition. It is devastating. It is very difficult to treat. There are treatment options out there for central centrifugal cicatricial alopecia, such as interlesional injection of steroids, topical steroids, minoxidil, either topically or orally, and some antibiotic treatments. There have been some reports of platelet-rich plasma inducing growth, and I've seen that in my own practice. And now there are a few publications that appeared in recent years about metformin topically administered that may be a breakthrough in the treatment of CCCA. So there are two case reports that showed that in a very limited group of patients, topical metformin administered as 10% cream to the scalps of women who suffered from the condition, in addition to other treatments, induced noticeable hair growth. And the hair regrowth in CCCA is actually quite impressive because often we don't get any hair regrowth. The common result of treating CCCA is maintaining things the way they are, meaning not allowing the condition to worsen or to become worse, the hair loss to advance. But in many cases, we're left scratching our heads, no pun intended, and really left without a viable solution to find a treatment that would improve the condition of these patients. So metformin, having looked at the few studies that came out, seems like a solution that may actually result in regrowth of hair that was previously lost and was commonly thought to be irretrievable. Now I've heard from some colleagues that the treatment does indeed work to an extent, so I think it's worth mentioning it. The interesting thing about metformin is that it's been around for decades. It is traditionally used as an anti-diabetic drug orally, and it's also used to treat conditions such as polycystic ovarian syndrome and other conditions, but it is usually given orally. And in the past few years, it's gained some attention as a topical treatment for various conditions. Now, with regards to CCCA, how would metformin work? What are the mechanisms of action? Well, the short answer is that it's unclear at the moment, but there are several options. One, it can act as an anti-inflammatory agent by affecting the transcription factor known as NF-kappa B, which is a common transcription factor that controls the expression of inflammatory genes in many different cells. Another mechanism of action could be that metformin could be affecting the metabolism of certain cells that mediate or carry out the immune functions and the inflammation that results in that, specifically T effector cells. So essentially, metformin could be affecting their ability to generate energy and therefore their effectivity in inducing the inflammatory changes, leading to shutdown of hair follicles and possibly destruction of hair follicles. Another mechanism of action is autophagy. Metformin is known to modify autophagy or autophagy, which is a process by which cells recycle old, unusable or dysfunctional or sometimes even harmful portions of the cell or sometimes the entire cell is set for autodestruct. If you actually control that mechanism and are able to affect it, you may be getting rid of dysfunctional elements either on the cellular level or even on the tissue level in modifying the tissue. Another possible mechanism of action is that metformin may be inducing changes that lead to hair growth specifically through repurposing of normal cells into stem cells. And that's something that's been shown on a very limited basis, but could be one of the mechanisms by which metformin works. So is metformin a miracle drug for CCCA? Well, the short answer, I think that this needs further research, obviously, more experience with more people using this medication, reporting the findings, reporting what the experience 
in the results of the treatment. When metformin was administered, it was administered with other medications that are traditionally used to treat CCCA. And the improvement that the investigators noted was apparent after adding the metformin to the treatment, meaning it was associated with the addition of metformin. That's actually quite promising. The other thing is metformin is actually inexpensive. You can compound it at a pharmacy and in my neck of the woods in South Florida, it costs a few dozens of dollars for a 100 gram tube of the medication. Certainly not cheap, but not as expensive as some of the medications and the length of treatment for some of the medications that patients have to take for CCCA. Another thing is that no major side effects have been reported for topical metformin, which is interesting, still needs to be investigated, obviously. So that's not the end of the story as far as downsides for the treatment and side effects for the treatment. But we are dealing with a condition that puts the patient in a desperate position. The hair is lost, the changes are scarring, and often are thought to be irredeemable. So if we have a medication that can actually induce hair regrowth, and the hair regrowth would usually occur within four to six months of treatment, I would say that is something that you should definitely consider discussing with your dermatologist and see if that is a good fit for you. So, bottom line, an old medication repurposed as a topical treatment for CCCA, which may actually be a cutting-edge solution for this condition that was previously thought to be a no-way-out condition with irretrievable scarring changes. So, let me know in the comments section. Have you tried metformin? Have you seen any great results with it? Have you talked to anybody who has? I would love to hear about it in the comments section. Spread the word and see what other people thought and what other people experienced, and maybe we have have something up our sleeves that can help you improve your condition and get you some traction, get you some leverage over your CCCA. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to share and like this video. Thanks for watching and God bless.